Hi everybody, I'm Noah from Tata Soul and today I want to introduce you to a new embroidery kit for kids and for anyone who wants to start embroidering. And you will notice that this design is already colored. I did that so you will only need to add few stitches to complete this project. So today I want to show you how to fill the treehouse pattern. I'm going to use two stitches the back stitch and the second stitch they're very easy and you can complete this project pretty quick so let's start we're going to start with the back stitch begin by pulling the needle up through the fabric and do one stitch forward before your next stitch space the needle out the length of your desired stitch so Pull up through the fabric and bring the needle back down through the end of your last stitch. We are going to fill most of this outline with the back stitch because it's the easier stitch and it looks cute. So I'm going to do the roof with back stitch but you can also fill it with satin stitch which I will show you in a bit. If you're reaching a corner, don't freak out, just turn with your needle and keep going with the outline. After that, I'm going to switch thread and do the window and the door, but feel free to be creative and do whatever colors you want. After practicing backstitch in long stitches, I'm sure you really got the hang of it and we're going to continue with the outline of the tree. Here we're going to do um, really close stitches, really small stitches because we have curves on the tree leaves, but it's the same stitch, just go with the outline. Okay, good job! So let me show you how to do satin stitch. We're going to fill this cute little uh, flag banner. This stitch is used for filling shapes so start by bringing your needle up from one side of the shape and then bring your needle back down from the other side of the outline simple as that just go from right to left all the time either right to left or left to right i don't mind just go from the same side over and over again and fill the shape so you're almost done, you can just finish off um, the list of the flags and now you can add little details like the string of the flag banner and the letter to the treehouse and just enjoy, be creative, do whatever you want. Um, I'm going to use backstitch for both of the details I just mentioned and good luck! So I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did give it a like and subscribe to my channel to check out all my videos and tutorials, you can get all my embroidery kits and patterns on my Etsy shop and I will see you in the next video, bye!